Hey, it's Brad Montgomery from bradmontgomery.com with another uh, tip or suggestion on uh, getting the most return on investment from your motivational or inspirational speaker. Well, today the plan is find a speaker who can do more than one thing for you. So, and that, mean, that means can your speaker do multiple things for you at your single event? So why is this important? Well, I think it's important for two reasons. One, I think it's an easy way to get a huge increase in value with only a minimal increase in investment. So what do I mean? I'm talking about if you hire a speaker to do a keynote speech, what else can they do? Can they do, uh, are they an MC? Can they do, be a master of ceremonies? Can they do entertainment after dinner? Can they uh, do, uh, one of the things I do is a little energy boost, game show segments to help boost the energy throughout the day. I got a whole bunch of ideas about team building during lunches and dinners. I, I've got a million ideas because I've been at this so long, I've just got a whole big bag of tricks. So some of my favorite clients are the ones that say, Brad, we've got you here. How can we get more out of you? And uh, the result is, is really fun. So the first benefit is you save a lot of money because you've already got your speaker there, you've paid for the travel, and the increase really is not that much. So in other words, if you have one speaker do two things, you're not pay paying twice as much. It's like Costco. <laughs> All right, but the other day, idea, uh, other reason why this is such a great idea is once your motivational speaker or your keynote speaker has connected with your audience and your audience has connected with them, it's really cool to follow up with that connection and get the most out of that connection. So what do I mean? Let me give you an example. If, for example, I work uh, in the morning as your keynote speaker, then we laugh and you know we're going to make that audience just crack up and they're going to start to know me and they'll know whole, how I think and how I feel and they'll start to understand my sense of humor which means that if I come back an hour and a half later to introduce the next speaker or to head up some sort of team building experience or to uh, even just do the, the, the like housekeeping notes just deliver those boring items but in a really fun and upbeat way what the audience thinks to themselves is, oh goody, he's back, he's fun. Oh, this guy's funny. And it raises the energy in the room. And the reason that energy uh, increase is important is because it makes sure that the, your people are ready to learn and ready to receive value from your meeting or your conference, not just during the keynote speech, but all the way through. Pretty cool idea, huh? The other, the other advantage to using one speaker for multiple events is it saves time and it's sort of a complex thought so stick with me. As a motivational speaker one of the most important parts of my job is the first few minutes of any speech because that's when the audience is sizing me up. That's when I really need to make sure that they understand me and get me and only after they understand me and trust me can I start to teach them. And if you think about it that appeals to your common sense. It's, it's always that way no matter who you're learning from. First, you have to trust your teacher, and only then do you start to learn. Well, once we have invested that time and energy to get your audience to know me and trust me and like me, that means each, six, uh, each additional time I'm in front of that audience, we get to start way ahead. We don't have to start back at the beginning. We get to start at the point after they already know me and trust me and are ready to laugh and learn. So it's a, a really uh, cool way to get a little bit of extra time. You get it? So if, uh, here's a very specific example. If I do the keynote speech, the first 10 or 15 minutes really is getting them to know me and like me and trust me. But then if we follow it with a breakout session, we can start off the breakout session on minute one with some hard hitting you know, techniques and uh, ideas that they can implement right away because we don't have to do that warm up. We can just say, hey, it's good to have you here. I'm flattered that the room is full. Let's start. And you can. You don't have to do the blah, blah, blah. All right, I like the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a lot of, you know, that's what the jokes are, usually. But uh, I know that you want return on your investment when you're hiring a motivational speaker. And that's why you're looking at this video. All right, I hope that was helpful. My name is Brad Montgomery. I'd, I'd love to be part of your team. And I'd love to be uh, helping you to get a huge return on your speaker investment. So give us a call. You can find us at bradmontgomery.com. You can click the links down there. I don't know where they are. You'll find them. Uh, or funnymotivationalspeakers.com. Have a great day.